Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Sheep Hears My Voice Ministries. On today, I want to talk about immolations. But before I get started, I would like to say thank you to everyone that gets on here and support me. Because it really means a lot to me when I see my sisters and brothers in Christ get on here and comment and share it's really an encouragement. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for all that you do for me. Now, today we're going to talk about immolations. And immolating is a reproduction. And reproduction is the action or process of making a copy of something. A thing made to be similar or identical to another. And you can find out about immolations in Galatians chapter 5, verse 20. Now, about two years ago, I was sitting quietly and I heard the word. I heard the Lord say to me, where there's an original, there's a copy. Where there's an original, there's a copy. And I sat there and I thought about it for a minute and I hurry up and I wrote it down. And it's been wrote down. I haven't thought about it, but yesterday he brought it back to my memory. And I thought about immolations is something that's running rapid in the earth right now today. Because we always want to be like somebody else. Now with this, where there's an original, there's a copy. This is part one because this is really big and I couldn't just squeeze it all into one video. So I will be back on here several more times with, with where there's an original, there's a copy because there's a lot that the Lord has showed me that goes with this. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to give you a few illustrations of where there's an original, there's a copy. So as you can see, this right here is Coca-Cola. This is Coca-Cola. This is an original brand drink. But then if you go and you get this, this is Fago. This is cola, but this is not the original because it does not taste like regular Coke, okay? I also went and I went and bought taco seasoning. Now this is old El Paso. This is good. I use this all the time. This is an this is one of the original taco seasonings. But then if you see this, this is Food Club. This is not the original. This is a copy of the original. Okay, now we all like Hamburger Helper. So this is original name brand Hamburger Helper. But as you can see, there's a copy. This is an off brand of the original Hamburger Helper. Okay, I have one more illustration. Now, everybody loves Kraft macaroni and cheese. Now, this is the original macaroni and cheese. We can get many different kinds of macaroni and cheese, but Kraft is good. But as you can see, there is a copy. There's a copy of this macaroni and cheese. This is the original and this is the copy. Immolations. So the reason why I wanted to bring that out like that, because that's what, that's immolations. You trying to reproduce the same thing of something that's original. So today, my lesson is going to be coming from Acts chapter 4, verses 36 and 37 and then acts chapter 5 1 through 10 let me say that again so you can get the scriptures 
My lesson today is coming from Acts chapter 4, verses 36 and 37. Then we're going to go to Acts chapter 5, 1 through 10. And through this lesson, today, we're going to learn about emulating someone. See, we like to emulate people. When we see somebody doing something, we want to do the same thing that they're doing and we want to outdo them. Yes, that's what we do. When we see somebody doing something, we want to outdo that person and outshine that person. And when we get to the end of this lesson, we're going to see when you emulating someone and you not in the will of God, what can happen? Now, there's nothing wrong with emulating someone that's saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Imitate righteousness. There's nothing wrong with that when you're imitating not lying, when you're imitating having a godly character, when you're imitating treating your sisters and brothers right. That, that's good. That's a good emulation. But today we're going to see what a jealous, wicked emulation look like and that's what's going on in the world today because we see one person on youtube shaking their behind now we want to get on youtube and shake our behind we see one person smoking now we want to smoke we see one person walking around with their breasts hanging out booty cheeks hanging out now we want to walk around with breasts out of booty cheeks hanging out emulations so let's go to the word. Acts chapter 4, verses 36 says, And Joseph, who by the apostle was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Now this man had land, he sold it, he brought all the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Because that is what he purposed in his heart to do. He wasn't trying to be like nobody, he was doing what was in his heart to do. But if we go down to Acts chapter 5, now we're going to see emulators. Ananias and Sapphira wanted to be like Joseph, who by the apostles, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas. They wanted to be like Barnabas. They was imitating Barnabas, but their heart wasn't in it. Acts chapter 5 and 1, but a certain man named Ananias, which Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it, that means she was willing to go with this, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. Now, they wanted to be like Barnabas. They was emulating Barnabas. But Barnabas did it from his heart. They was doing it because they wanted to be seen. Ananias and Sapphira, they wanted to be seen. So they had a possession. They sold it. Now Barnabas brought all his money and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Ananias and Sapphira, they only brought part of the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. But they wanted it to look like that they did the same thing that Barnabas did. They wanted they wanted it to appear that they brought all the money. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? So see, when they lied, Ananias and Sapphira, when they lied, they lied to the Holy Ghost. And see, that's why we have to be very careful. We don't tell lies. 
Ask God to help you, help you, help me, help us all not to lie. Because we don't know. They lied to the Holy Ghost. Now, they was looking at Peter. Peter was doing the talking in the flesh. But they was lying. They was really talking to the Holy Ghost. And they lied to the Holy Ghost. Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thy own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? Thou hast not lied unto man, but unto God. Thou hast not lied unto man, but to God. So what this is saying is that it was your land. You sold it. It was in your power to do with the money, whatever you wanted to do with it. If you wanted to keep it all for yourself, if you wanted to give the give uh, lay half of it at the apostles' feet, it was in your power to do what it was that you wanted to do with it because it was your possession that you sold. Therefore, it was your money. But no, they wanted to emulate and outdo Barnabas. They wanted it to appear that they had done the same thing that Barnabas had did. But they only gave part of the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. But they wanted it to appear that they gave all of it. And then the word says, Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. John 8 and 44. Let's go to John 8 and 44. And I'm going to tell you why. John 8 and 44. You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. So Satan was behind this. Because the word of God says right here. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? Satan was behind this lie. Now let's keep going. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And great fear came on all them that heard these things. So they were scared when they saw that Ananias had lied, not to Peter, but to the Holy Ghost. Then he fell down and died. Why? Because he lied to God. Instant death penalty. Let's keep going to see what happened next. And the young men rose. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. Now, here come his wife, Sapphira. She didn't know what happened between Anna, that Peter told Anna, uh, Ananias that he lied to the Holy Ghost. She didn't know that her husband fell down and died because he lied to God. She didn't know none of this. And remember, if we go back into um, Acts 5 and 2, it says, and Okay, and kept back part of the price. His wife also was privy to it. She was... It, willing to be with this lie she was willing to stand with her husband with this lie why john 8 44 they was of their father the devil okay now and peter answered unto her tell me whether you sold the land for much and she said yeah for so much so she came right in John 8, 44, still doing the lust of her father, lying. And she came right in and lied and said, yes, we gave all the money. Then Peter said unto her, how is it that you have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out. 
So she got the same death penalty as her husband for lying to God. Then fell she down straightway at his feet and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in and found her dead and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. So see, this is what I'm saying. Emulations. They emulated Barnabas, but their heart wasn't in it. They was emulating him in an evil and jealous way. They wanted the same credit or the same reward or whatever uh, praises of people or whatever Barnabas got for doing what he did. She wanted that from the apostles too. Ananias and Sapphira did. They wanted that. But they, what they did when they sold their land, their property, whatever the possession was, because the Bible don't say it was land, it said they sold a possession. They only gave half of the money. They didn't give it all. But they were still walking around as though they had gave, like Barnabas did, all of it from their heart. And because their heart was not right, and they were so quick to go to John 8, 44 and do the lust of their father, the devil. They suffered the death penalty behind it. So where there's an original, there's a copy. In this particular lesson right here, Barnabas was the original because he did it from his heart. And here come the copycats, Ananias and Sapphira. So we got to know that emulations is not good. And if we go to Galatians, let's go to Galatians chapter 5. Let's go to Galatians chapter 5. And we're going to see exactly what's going on right here because we need to know. Because if emulations is in the word of God, it's in here. And if God didn't want us to not be doing immolations, he wouldn't have never put it in his word. So immolating is important to the Lord. It's important to the Lord. So let's go to Galatians. Okay. And let's go to chapter five. Because you know me, I like to go to them scriptures and read it. I don't try to just think I know it all. I go to the word and I read it because I like to get it right. Galatians chapter 5 and 20. And it says right here. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in Ephesians. Let me go back over to Galatians. Okay, Galatians 5 and 20. Okay. Idolatry. It talks about witchcraft. Hatred. Variance. Immolations, wrath, strife, seditions, and heresies right here in Galatians chapter 5 and 20. And the word of God says, I tell you before, as I have told you also, told you in the past time, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you immolating, you not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Why? Because God created all of us individually. And he want us to be ourselves. Do what it is that he has created us to do. So emulating is important to the Lord. And see, a lot of people don't even know that emulations is in the word of God. We walking around emulating this and emulating that. And that's why I said that I could not, when the Lord gave me this and he laid it out, there's no way possible that I could put everything into one video. Because I don't want to rush the word of God. And it's not about Monique. It's about the word. It's about the Lord. So let's make sure that we're not emulating. Because we saw what happened when we try to emulate someone and our hearts is really not in it. So next week, 
when I get back on here on the next video, when the Lord gives me the next section of this, part two of this, of emulating, I will be back on here to talk about it again. Because this is big. Now, I thank y'all for tuning in with me today. And if you want to, go back to Acts chapter 4, 36 and 37, and Acts chapter 5, 1 through 10, and read it for yourself. And it will show you about Emma Lady. And remember John 8 and 44. Because we do not, we do not bow down to Satan. And we will not do the work of Satan. We will not lie unto the Lord. We will not put ourselves in a situation where we can be like Ananias and Sapphira. Because the word of God says, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Jesus told Satan that back in Matthew chapter 4, when he was tempting Jesus. Jesus told Satan, I'm not going to bow down and worship you. Because it is written. Let's go to it. Matthew chapter 4. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4. Okay, now let's find it. We are Matthew chapter 4. And this is when, when, when Christ was led. Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So we know this is what was going on. So let's go down to the scripture where... Because Jesus is not going to bow down and worship Satan. And we're not going to do it neither. Now we're going to go to Matthew 4 and 10. Then Jesus said. Then, then says Jesus unto him. Get thee hence Satan. For it is written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him only shalt thou serve. Matthew 4 and 10. Remember that. Jesus told Satan, get behind me, Satan. It's written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. We not going to serve Satan. We not going to bow down to Satan. We not going to let Satan get a foothold in our lives. So that's what he's trying to do. Satan come to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan come to take us out. Satan come to take us down. Satan come to destroy your children. Satan come to have us strung out on drugs and alcohol. Satan come to take our homes and possessions. Satan come to steal. He will come to steal your beauty. Yes, Satan come to steal your beauty. Satan come to steal your health. And as we see in Acts chapter 5, Satan came and stole Ananias and Sapphira's life through a lie. Over some materialistic stuff. Money. And possessions. So let's open up our eyes. And let's make sure. That we not emulate. I love you all so much. Thank y'all. And I'll see you again next time. With part two. Of where there's an original. There's a copy. Where there is an original. There's a copy. God bless you. And I will see you again next time. Original copy. We don't want to be copycats. God bless you.